focusing the many scattered influences which make sure you become the country's first president. In 1910, I became the personal counselor of Manuel L. Quazen. I not only counseled him politically, but perhaps more importantly. I taught him the science of personal achievement, which then was quite new. Senor Quazen was the first president of the Philippine Islands when they gained their freedom. In 1910, however, that time was far in the future. The goal of freeing his people possessed Quazen's mind, and he saw himself as the first president of the new nation. I assured him he could realize both ambitions, yet we knew that such great events do not come to pass overnight. There is a well-recognized power in setting up a definite goal. Few, however, realize the power of setting a realistic time limit in which one intends to attain that goal. After having counseled Senior Quazen for some years, I induced him to set a definite time limit for freeing the Philippines and becoming the new nation's leader. I also prepared an affirmation which he repeated to himself daily. It closed with a statement of this nature, I will allow no person's opinion, no influence to enter my mind which does not harmonize with my purpose. Both the time limit and the affirmation were of great help to Quazen in knowing his own mind and keeping his own direction in the face of the enormous difficulties which beset him. Twenty-four years and six months from the day, Quazen began to use the science of personal achievement. He became the first president of the Free Philippine Islands. Coincidence? Coincidence despite a world war which intervened and many other factors which were not foreseeable. I do not think it was a coincidence, for I have seen this principle of personal achievement work for so many people. In so many different situations that coincidence must be ruled out. We shall touch upon the principle again. Right now, I shall tell you about just one man presently doing business in Chicago who has used it with notable success. W. Clement Stone was in high school when he discovered his own goals, his own direction in which the powers of his 